back your fears And when you're really down and out And you feel like there's no way out now Hold back now Hold back your tears Some more I think you'd be fucking impressed and I think he would want us to do our thing and play hard and, you know, I'm impressed <laughs> with what has been put together. I know he'd be absolutely 100% grateful for everything we're doing for him. And for me, this is a bittersweet show because this is more like I, I've always dreamt of headlining the House of Blues. And the fact that we are headlining the House of Blues as a tribute to Jeremy, it's very bittersweet. Because this is, there's nowhere else I'd rather play to pay tribute to someone I love so much. I don't think he ever expected to be a part of anything bigger than a band that played a bar in front of 30 or 40 people, maybe 50 people, whatever. So, you know, playing in front of seven, eight, hundred, maybe a thousand people at House of Blues, like we've done before, you know, that part of it, you know, that was just icing on the cake for him. He just, he just had so much fun doing what we did anyway, it didn't matter to him. So, this part, you know, that many people that cared about us, he just lived it up. He didn't, he, he never took it for granted. He never expected anything. He never expected a, to walk into a show and expect the people to be there. He would hold a shot right in my face and say, let's do it. That was what he said to me before every single show. Hey, baby, let's do it. He was always the one that we looked up to in the sense that before him, we know the idea of the relationship and the touring band, traveling band, was always kind of a myth. I mean, we never really thought that you could make both things work. He has, he has a wife, two kids, and he became one of the most reliable members of the band. You know, he never, it was kind of that in-band joke that, you know, Jeremy can do it. And if we can't, if someone else had a conflict that came up, it was kind of just like, well, Jeremy can do it. You've got a wife, two kids. The support, you know, he's finding the time for it. What's your excuse? He brought just a sense of peace, like everything was going to be okay. Just, he was the calm within the fury that we tend to be at times because, you know, everyone's dealing with their own things. We're all very busy adults, and he was just the one to, to really set focus and let us remember what we're here to do. The stage is going to definitely miss his energy. He always brought energy no matter what the show, whether we were having a shitty show, whether we were having the best show ever, he never stopped with his energy. He went 110% every time. There's definitely a presence that we're going to lack, not only because Jeremy as a person, but Jeremy as a performer. From day one, he was, uh, we knew he was the guy for the for this band, so. It's weird playing with other people and just kind of odd to have to try to do something to someone else. He showed me that I was doing the right thing. That what I, I'm doing is okay. So I would, I would definitely thank you for our last conversation. I would just give him a hug. Just 
you're it feels like the runaround is a vertebrae. Someone just pulled out one of our vertebrae. And just it was the backbone. He was one of our backbones. He wasn't just in this for for a little while until it got old. He was definitely someone that uh, seemed like he you know he was in it for a long haul. The last thing he told me was that he was in it till the end. He's in the runaround until it's all over. I unfortunately didn't realize that he meant it like this, but yeah, he was definitely in it until the end. He gave it gave it his all right up till the end. Every single day, but we're not the ones to say, please just go and save yourself. Cause we don't care anymore. Who are you to decide what we do with our lives? I can apologize for what we do. This one goes out to you. Raise your glass up.